Is your pet pooing where you don't want it to? I thought so. We're going to look at the pet training skill and pet training in general within The Sims 4 and you will need the Cats and Dogs expansion pack for this. First, let's take a look at general pet training. Both cats and dogs start out with a heap of potential misbehaviours that can be trained out. This can include things like scratching furniture, jumping on counters, eating human food, drinking from or playing in puddles, eating or playing in trash, and even waking up your sim. If you catch your pet autonomously performing one of these misbehaviours, then you can choose to scold them for it or lecture them about it. While scolding is a mean interaction, lecturing is a friendly interaction. And note that while these interactions have a chance to succeed and help to train out a misbehaviour, this isn't guaranteed and sometimes the interaction will fail. Sometimes your pet will just have no idea what you're on about. For dogs with the stubborn trait and cats with the spoiled trait, they'll be a bit harder to train as scolding them will almost always fail, meaning that you're better off trying your luck at lecturing them. They will sometimes also have the option where you can beg them to stop misbehaving and if successful, this will help to train out a misbehaviour. Also note that dogs that have the troublemaker trait and cats that have the mischievous trait will misbehave more often, so avoid these if you're looking for good behaviour. You'll know when a lecture or scold has been successful because your pet will have a bubble over their head indicating that the misbehaviour is improving. Once a misbehaviour has been completely trained out, your pet will stop performing that interaction. Sometimes this can literally just take scolding or lecturing a behaviour once, but other times it can take quite a few lectures or scolds. You'll know when you've successfully trained out a misbehaviour because you'll get a notification saying that your pet will no longer perform it. You know, it's exciting news for everyone when your pet stops peeing indoors. It's also worth a quick mention that this is how to train out misbehaviours when completing the friend of the animal's aspiration. It can be particularly helpful to pay close attention to your pets early on and to iron out any misbehaviours that you find annoying. One in particular that I like to put a stop to is cats scratching furniture. You know, scratch furniture does not bring me joy. Note that not everything is trained up in this way. For example, when your dog needs to pee, you'll notice an interaction where you can ask them to go potty, and this will help toilet train them. Note that asking them to go potty will also appear in the pet care section, and you can spam this to have your pet learn to do their business outside relatively quickly. Also, to get pets to stick to their beds, you'll ideally want to ask a pet to lie down in their pet bed a few times after which they should start to become more familiar with it being theirs. I should call out that dogs with the smart trait and cats with the clever trait are said to be easier to train, and so it should be a bit faster to train out their misbehaviours. For dogs in particular, the smart trait also calls out that they'll learn tricks easier, and from my testing, they will learn tricks about twice as fast. So it's a hugely helpful trait to give your pet if you want to teach them lots of tricks. And yes, as we move on to looking at the pet training skill itself, which has just 5 levels, we will be looking at tricks. The game often calls them commands, but tricks just sound so much cuter. Now even at level 1 in the pet training skill, you can show off your pet to other sims in friendly interactions, and also teach your dog commands, including roll over, sit, speak, and lie down. You can also train your dog to play fetch, which you'll need a ball for. At level 2, you'll also be able to teach your dog to heal, shake and play dead. Once your pet has learnt a trick or command, it will move from the training to the trained commands section, and you can have your pet perform them at any time. At level 3 of the pet training skill, you can send your dog to explore. Now this interaction is available on dirt or sand piles, and it'll see your dog head on over, dig it up, and bring you back a little gift. It can be quite cute for making a little bit of extra side money or finding a few collectibles, and it saves you time having your dog go and do the digging for you, which we love. Note that there are also some bushes in Brindleton Bay that you can send your pet to explore too. Level 4 of the pet training skill is dare I say even more exciting, depending on how much chaos you want your dog to cause. Reaching this level will mean you can command your dog to attack other sims, 
like literally they will go all out on whoever you tell them to and I'm so here for the mafia boss's guard dog vibes. This will leave the target sim understandably uncomfortable and I also just think it can be so much fun for the storytelling. When you reach level 4, you can also show off pet tricks to other sims which appears in friendly interactions with them. And this can see you earn some teeny tiny tips which we love. Finally, when you max the pet training skill at level 5, you'll be able to have your dog perform tricks for other sims. And on top of this, you'll teach tricks to your dogs faster. How much faster, you ask? Well, from my testing, I believe it's around 25% faster. Also note that anytime you're using the pet training skill, consider adding the training ground lot trait to the lot that you're on, as this will help your sim to level up the pet training skill faster. Another thing to keep in mind is obstacle courses. Using obstacle objects, you can build a custom course and can then have your pet complete it. This is a really fun way to train the pet training skill, and the higher your skill, the better your pet will perform on the course. Finally, if you're looking to be a dog trainer, I recommend picking up and trying to finish the Friend of the Animal's Aspiration. Completing this will give your sim the Animal Whisperer trait, and this makes it easier to train and discipline animals, as well as gain relationships with them. So really, it helps in every single way. And with that, we're at the end. That's a guide to pet training in The Sims 4. If you enjoyed or found this helpful, then please subscribe and leave a like. I would really appreciate it and have an amazing day. See you later.